Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Cody Hunter here. Now today's video is all about how to choose and find the right CrossFit box for you for 2020. Check it out. This is the time of year that most of us are starting to think about our fitness and wellness goals for 2020. Now that includes what kind of training programs we're going to do, what clothing we're going to buy, what diet plan we're going to choose, and ultimately there, what kind of gym we're going to join. Now I have a lot of experience in CrossFit boxes, so I thought that today would be a good way for me to give you some pointers on what to look for when joining that CrossFit gym. Because trust me here when I say this, not all CrossFit boxes are created equal. Some of them are very different. They're different by their programming, by their coaching style, by their culture, their community, by their pricing, by many, many different factors. Now it's all about trying to find the right place for you so that you continue to go and you continue to get better. Here are some top points that will help you find the place that keeps you going for the rest of your life so that you get the best gains possible. Tip number one, understand what you want and what you need. Don't just show up there and think that it's gonna slam you in the face and say this is exactly what you want. Know what you want so you can tell the coaches what your goals are, what your desires are, what your ultimate purpose of coming to that box is. Before you head in there, write down, what do I want out of this year of my training with CrossFit? What are my goals? What are my desires? How long am I planning to join? How many days can I train? All those things. Just have a bit of an idea about that before you walk in the door. Another really important thing to consider is the location of that box. If it becomes a chore or an obstacle or it is a very far away distance, you'll more likely not show up. So you wanna to try to find something that's quite close by and convenient to you. It means that you don't have to worry about allowing an hour of travel or driving through peak traffic to get that to that box. Now I know if it's the best box in the world and you fall in love with it, sure, invest and do what you need to do, but ultimately make sure it's convenient to your work or your home or wherever you plan to start that workout from. All right, so you figured out the best location, you understand what you want, and now you're gonna go down and step into some gym floors. You're gonna have a bit of a look around. So my next thing to think about is your first impressions of that box. How clean is the facility? Because box owners who really respect their business and really into it, the gym will be spotless and clean, proud of their environment. They treat their environment with respect and the coaches do the same. Now if the place is total mess, there's dust all over the floor, these sweat piles of sweat all over the ground and chalk everywhere, it just looks to you like it hasn't really been looked after, it's something to have a little bit of a think about because that's really about that pride of their location. Now another thing to think about in terms of first impressions is how you are welcomed. How are you welcomed by the staff? Are they actually giving you some attention? Do they actually want to talk to you? Or are they too busy looking at something else or not really interested? Now a lot of coaches from my experience are too busy working out on the gym floor to worry about anyone else that walks down the stairs. Now they need to consider this. Getting down the stairs of a CrossFit gym or any gym for that matter is a very stressful and scary thing. Now if you've gone through the effort and you've built up the courage to step down those gym floors and you're finally getting into the box and then no one welcomes with you, boom there's a real good chance that you're just going to walk straight back out because it is uncomfortable, it is intimidating, and it is scary. So coaches, make sure they're welcoming. Make sure the staff look after you and they want to see you in the gym and they give you some real attention. Another one there on first impressions really comes down to the conversations that you have. Is the receptionist or the salesperson or the coach asking you the right questions? Do they actually care what you want? Do they care what your goals are? You should be doing all the talking, not the staff member there. You should be sharing what you need, what you want, what you desire with them so that they can understand and then help you understand what they give, what their solution is, what their service is, so you can tell if it's right for you. Now, if they take you on a tour right away, cool. It might be a good way to break the ice as long as they're asking you some questions along the way, but hey, that's not really the most important thing. The showers and change rooms are good to have, but hey, they don't really matter in the grand scale of things. What matters is everything else, the coaches, the programming, the culture in the community. So don't be blinded by this big, beautiful facility because it doesn't always mean it's the best one. The next thing to consider, which I find is very, very important, is do they have an on-ramp class or a fundamentals class? Now, this is the class that will teach you all the basic movements that you need to know moving forward. Still to this day, believe that everybody who wants to get into fitness, whether it's CrossFit or just training at the regular gym or anything, should go to a good on-ramp course. It will teach you everything, how to move your body well, how to do push-ups, how to squat. It's still what I think, from the right coaches, one of the best beginner programs that you can ever do. Now, if that gym doesn't have an on-ramp program, it's very likely you're going to be chucked into that class with people who have been doing it all types of time, maybe many, many years, and you're going to be expected to know what's going on. 
Now, what will that do to you? Well, it's gonna freak you out and you're gonna get overwhelmed. You're potentially gonna get injured and you'll never wanna go back. Look for that on-ramp course and do it. If it's optional, I don't care, do it. Even if you think you know what you're doing, trust me, nine times out of 10, you don't. So do the on-ramp. The next one that I wanna talk about is community. Now, as I said earlier, CrossFit boxes are not all the same. There are many things that are different, especially when it comes down to community. Is the community the right fit for you? Now, there are some boxes that are very clicky when it comes to communities, and they're not very welcoming to you. There are some boxes who focus on their elite athletes, and anyone else doesn't matter. Now, think about what you want with the community. You wanna be welcomed. You want people to give you a bit of attention and look after you so that you feel like you're part of the team. Because a CrossFit box is a team. It's a tight-knit community of people who have like cried and sweat and worked out together for many, many years. Now, if you feel like you're on the outside of that for a long period of time, it's not a good feeling. So that needs to be led from the coaches. So are the coaches encouraging you to be involved in the group? Are they introducing you? Are they pairing you up with someone to help get you, you know, used to the facility and how things work? Now those little things are really important because then you'll feel like you're part of the team and you'll what? You'll want to come to the gym more often, which more often training brings you better results. So it's really important to think about that culture and community and make sure it's the right fit for you. Now the last thing I wanted to talk about here is pricing. Now I know that we talked a little bit about it earlier, but most of us go into gyms and we say, how much does it cost? Now I don't want you to think about pricing at all, but I want you to do is go to different gyms and try the ones that are more expensive. Try the ones that are cheaper, because trust me, it doesn't actually matter. You will never know unless you try it. I know some gyms here that are the cheapest CrossFit gyms in town, and they have the best coaches, they have the best facilities there, they'll look after you the best. And some of them are the most expensive, and they don't care. So have a really good think about that and experience them and try to find the one that fits best for you, regardless of the pricing, and then we can get into that a little bit later. All right team, so there you have it. I really hope those tips and pointers help you decide the right CrossFit box for you. Now I do encourage you, if you've been thinking about it, get out there and try it. It will change your life and it might be the best thing you've done with fitness related for many, many years. Now team, if you have any questions or comments or you'd like to know more about joining a CrossFit box, please comment below and I'll happily answer them as soon as I possibly can. Now team, if you enjoyed this video, if you found any value, please give it the old thumbs up and don't be afraid to subscribe. Click on that button, it won't hurt one single bit. All right team, there's my video. Have an awesome day and we'll see you all again in the next one. Take care everybody, Cody Hunter.